Hi, my name is Howie Krause. I've been head baseball coach over at Lakeland Community College for the past nine seasons. Prior to being at Lakeland, I was the head assistant under Kevin Romberg at Cleveland State for four years. My main goal is to give back to the kids and teach the kids. So that's what I'm looking forward to and excited about our future here at HRS. All right, guys. What we're going to do here right now is talk about the ABCs of money, okay? Some particulars that you have to have to be successful to bunt in a game situation, okay? So what we're looking for here is just like we're hitting. Nice balance stance, all right? When we get out that, what we do for a little better back control when we're bunting is we're going to choke up a little bit. Not too much because we don't want to give it away to the other team that we're going to bunt. Okay, so if we're normally down on the down, we're going to choke up a little bit. A little better back control. And then all we're going to do, we're going to take our normal stance, and then we're going to pivot. See my feet right there? All my feet do is pivot. No more old school when we used to square around like so. Okay, too much movement with your eyes and your body. Okay, so we're here, we're choked up a little bit, and boom, we're going to pivot around. As we pivot around, we slide our hand up the back right here. Now our bat is going to stay at an angle. Why do we keep it at an angle? It'll prevent pop. -up. We get the bat right here, we're more prone to pop a baseball up for an out. This will give us a better chance of keeping the ball down on the ground. Okay? Now, if you notice, if I normally stand back here in the batter's box, when I bunt, I want to move up closer to the pitcher. Why do I want to move up closer to the pitcher? I want to move up closer to the pitcher to keep the ball in fair territory. To give me a better chance to keep my run in fair territory. Okay? So if I'm normally back here, when I get in the batter's box, a couple more inches up towards the pitcher. I'm choked up, and then it's time to bunt. Boom. Square around right here. Bat at an angle, and the bat is going to start at the top of my strike zone. The bat's at the top of my strike zone, so anything higher than my bat, we are not going to bunt it. We are not going to attempt to bunt. It's a ball. Okay? If the pitcher throws the pitch lower in the strike zone, we're going to start here, and we're not going to drop our hands. We're not going to drop our hands because it's a little bit more difficult to bunt, and again, chances of popping the base fall up. So we're going to start at the top of our strike zone, and if the ball is in the lower part of the strike zone, we're going to bend our knee. We're going to come down and get it. And almost like you're catching the baseball with the bat. All right? We're not going to jab at it. Okay? We're going to let the ball come to us. Boom. Right here. Now we're going to move my arm. So it's real simple. Right here. Square. My eyes stay still. And if the ball's in the lower part of the strike zone, we're going to go get it. Okay? And it's real simple. If we want to bunt the third base, angle the bat right here. This is almost like the udder of a boat. In, out, right here. Third base. Boom. Angle. Okay? First base. Boom. Right here. See how my bat's still in almost a 45 degree angle? Not flat. It's at the top of my strike zone. And if the ball comes down, we're going to bend our knees to go get it. We're not going to chop that. We're not going to go out and get it this way. We're not in here real tight. We're not out here far. We're comfortable. Okay? Boom. Square around. Bunt. Real simple. Remember now, we only bunt strikes, right? We don't offer a base at the head ball. We're bunting strikes. Question. How do you pull back for a bunt? Good question, Mr. George. But so we're here. Coach puts the bunt sign on, right? I shoot up towards the pitcher. I choke up a little bit for a little better back control. Square around. Back on top of my strike zone at an angle. If it's going to be a ball, right here. Real simple. Just pull back just like this. Okay? Good question. Next when, question. When do you start to square it off like that? Most of the time when you're bumping, the pitcher's going to be in the stretch, right? Because there's guys going to be on first or second, and you want to advance the runner, so the pitcher will be in the stretch. As soon as he makes his move, let me demonstrate a little better here, okay? Pitcher comes set, as soon as he starts, you're squared around, okay? So, the thing is, with a sacrifice bunt, there's no element of surprise. 
You're not fighting for a base hit where there is an element of surprise where you want to catch the third baseman and the first baseman, the pitch you want to catch them sweeping. Sacrifice fun. You want to square around early. Boom. You could even, if you want to make sure, even before the pitcher comes set, when he starts, he's looking in, remember how when we pitch, we look in for the sign? As soon as he comes set, then you go ahead and square around. You want to be early in the sacrifice fun. You don't want to be late. Get out here early. No element of surprise. All you're trying to do is punt the ball on the ground, away from the pitcher, to advance your runners to get him in scoring position so your teammate can knock him in with a base hit or a sacrifice fly. Okay? Good question. Any, any other questions? What do you got? Um, would sacrifice fun be the, the same sign as the gun? Well, usually the coach has two signs. Usually the first sign will be for your sacrifice punt, so you know that you're trying to move the runners up in the scoring position, okay? Or, if you step the home plate, maybe your coach just has one bunt sign, and if you step up the home plate, your coach gives you the bunt sign, well, you know there's nobody on base, so it's not a sacrifice. You're not trying to advance the runners. So now, you're going to bunt for a base hit, okay? Where there is an element of surprise. And we'll talk about bunting for a base hit later, but right now we got to get the sacrifice punt down because it is a huge part of situational hitting. It sets up situational hitting. Okay? Good question. Coaches, any questions? Any you guys got any more questions? We all set? All right. Good deal. That's it.